Hey guys, this is Arkel here, and oh, I am so, so super mad. Uh, <laughs> I had made a continuation video to the last video that I had posted, and it was a really serious video when I was talking about, like, sort of my conclusions and stuff in the hobby, um, especially, like, regards to some of the dolls that I have and my sort of plans that I have for them. It was a really serious video. Um, unfortunately, I ended up deleting it accidentally, and I'm really, really sad about that. Um, just because I feel like I kind of got that video out really well, and it seemed really sincere and stuff. But unfortunately, I accidentally deleted it. Now I'm really mad. And there was a really, really, really funny part in it with a lizard. It was really funny. Um, <laughs> like, it was hilarious. A lizard just popped in my window and was like, hello? Um, not literally, of course, but... Anyway, I want to go ahead and do a little fun video, a video that I've been saying that I'm going to do for a while, but I just kind of kept putting it off and kept forgetting. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys um, some clothes that I've accumulated for my incoming mini Filuka, who I'm really, really hyped will hopefully ship in the next few weeks, maybe like two, three weeks. Um, crossing fingers, but I'm, I'm really hoping the waiting room seems to be moving along much better than it has been. So I'm really, really hyped for that. And I've been saying that I was going to go ahead and show you their clothing for a really long time, and I just haven't, so... <sighs> Most of this you've probably already seen in videos anyway when I received it, but I figured I'd just go ahead and show you pretty much all the stuff that I have for them as of right now, so... Yeah, I will link in the description. Uh, where I got most of this stuff, or if I can remember, hopefully all of it. Um, but anyway, so this video is not super interesting, but hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, but anyway, this is the super, super, super adorable little kitty set from uh, Atelier Mamoni, I believe, I think. I'm really bad at pronouncing things, and I forget things, but I believe that's the shop name. Regardless, I will link it to you in the description. But this is really, 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 really cute outfit that I absolutely love. Has this tiny little skirt here and these little suspenders and this tiny little buns. I love this outfit so much. The second I saw it, I knew I had to have it. Like, look at that cat face right there. Look at that one right there. That that cat ex face, just imagine when you're trying to picture what my face looks like, it looks like that. You don't need anything else. <laughs> looks just like that. <laughs> but anyway... So I have some more little things here. This is this really cute little black shirt that has these little buttons and these little ruffles. Hopefully my camera will focus. It's really like temperamental. Oh wow, my skin looks really pink. Um, but anyway, this cute little shirt that has these little sort of puffy sleeves and these little ruffles on the front and it's a really like stretchy cute fabric. Um, again, I like the shop. In the description, it starts with a K, but I can't remember exactly um, what it is, but I will link it in the description. And then from that same shop, I have this cute little, like, purple sort of, like, with little lines. I forget what they call this, but it's a little purple shirt, and it has this, like, bigger collar thing going across, and it's long sleeves. It's really, really cute. Euclid definitely, uh, their color is definitely purple, so... It's really hard to find purple things, too, in my opinion. It just, I don't know why. Um, but then again, from that same shop, I have this really, really pretty skirt that has these little purple flowers on it. And again, I'm not too sure how well my camera will focus, because my camera, <laughs> you guys know. Um, but anyway, this really, really purple, pretty purple skirt, and it's really, really long. It's actually floor length, which is great. <sighs> I'm sure I've mentioned numerous times how much it's like one of my pet peeves in this hobby that there seems to be a severe shortage of floor length dresses and skirts, which, for, especially for MSDs, which is a really big pet peeve of mine. But, um, there's definitely more of like Lolita length dresses, which I don't mind, but I really like long dresses as well. So, anyway, um, just rambling. This is another little dress. This is from Wimucked on Etsy, or Foxy Brownie is their regular store. Um, but let me move this stuff. But it's this really, really pretty sort of like lavender, sort of like a dusty lavender purple. And it has these all these cute little details. These little lacy things. And it's sort of like patchwork sort of look to the top of it. And it's pretty long too, and it has like this cute little like asymmetrical lacy design. I know a lot of people have this particular dress, so I'm sure you've seen it before. But it's really, really, really amazing, and I'm really glad that I got the opportunity to own it because it's 
it's really, really awesome. I love it so much. And it has this cute little fur collar thingy with this little ribbon and then these little arm warmer thingies. I'm so great with terminology, aren't I? Um, <laughs> and then these little fluffy things that go on the end as well, like little cap things. So yeah, it's really, really super cute. There's two of them, of course, but you know, you get the idea. I really, really, really love the outfit. It's just so pretty. And Euclid definitely wears a lot of like, a lot of different things, really. A lot of like historical kind of things and really romantic things. So yeah, that's like really cute and purple. <laughs> so, oh, it also comes with these like cute little leggings as well, which kind of are like velvety, if you can see that, which is really interesting. Like I hardly ever see anything like doll clothes. Why is this made of velvet or velvety material? It's <laughs> to be honest, I don't think I've seen anything velvet since like I was like eight in the nineties. <laughs> but anyways, I'm pretty sure that I've shown you guys this as well. I'm trying to get the light to not be so bright. But this really, really pretty dress, it's sort of like, oh, that's too dark. It's sort of like a really pretty dark blue color and it has these little black lace accents. And I don't know if you can see like the stitching on here, but it has like really, really tiny stitches. Like it's ridiculous. I don't think I've ever seen like stitching so small on doll clothes ever before. It's super, super pretty. And, um, and it has this little like flare at the bottom here. It's really, really super pretty. This is actually from a store called Promise of the World. And if you guys you haven't heard of that shop before, then you know that, you probably know that their English website is notorious for having absolutely terrible customer service. Um, but luckily their Taobao store uh, is actually really, really good. And everything that I ordered shipped out really well everything arrived and it was all in the correct size and stuff. So if you do like, ever plan on ordering for Promise the World, definitely, definitely go with their Taobao store if you know how to use Taobao. Um, I absolutely adore all of their clothes. They're like some of my favorite clothes ever for BJDs. It's just that, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a little difficult to order from them, but they're most of the things are really reasonably priced. I can't remember exactly how much this dress was, but it was really, really, really pretty. And I really thought it just sort of like, I don't know, it just sort of screamed like that perfect balance between like romantic and historical. So perfect for Euclid. So, and the last thing that I have, which is really, really cool. It has lots of different little pieces. So I have to like, oh, <laughs> this video is so professional. <laughs> anyway, I have this really, really pretty white dress, which I have shown you guys before. I showed you in a really silly video when I got it. But, oh! It's this really, really, really pretty white dress. It has all these little cute details. And it has these little ties that have tiny little stars on them. It's really, really, really pretty, and it's really, really long. It's also floor length. I can't really zoom out super far so you can get an idea of how, like, full it is. But hopefully you guys can see that. I was, like, <laughs> again, like, my epic struggle trying to find, like, floor-length dresses, and especially one in white, and for an MSD was, like, oh, my God. <laughs> Such a struggle. But I really, really wanted a full-length white dress like this because in uh, Euclid's particular story, there happens to be a sort of instance where they're gifted with a really extravagant white dress. And it's, this is not exactly how I imagine it to be, but it definitely gives me that sort of feel of it. So yeah, I just sort of wanted to, I was really intent on getting them a dress like this. So yeah. Oh, it also comes with this little like neck choker thingy and you tie it around and it has this little rhinestone and stuff like that on it. Don't know if they'll wear that. Um, and then I've showed you guys this before too. But it's this little capey thing, and it has, again, sort of like a velvety texture to it, which is really cool. And it's like a little jacket cape thingy. And I put this on shoe all the time, because it has sort of rustic feel to it. So, but yeah, it's super, super cool. And the hood has like this little lacy detail. It has like this sort of mesh thingy in the back, which is really, really cool. And that came with the dress as well, which it looks really cool with the dress, but I just like the dress by itself. So Shu ends up usually wearing that uh, little coat thingy because it's more rustic, I think, 
There's more little accessories to the dress, but in the whole outfit thingy. Oh, and also pants in the back, but they're not that exciting. <laughs> they're exactly the same. But I didn't take out the little accessories since I don't really think you could actually use them. But then I also have these cute little hats, which I can't really show you all that great because I have one hand. Um, but they're these little like bonnet hats. I don't know how to explain it. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. But they have these little lace on the sides and you put them on the head like that and they're like a little bonnet. So hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, if not, I'll just show you when my mini fee gets here. But and there's also one in black as well. And those are also from Promise the World on Tabo. So which I will link you again in the description. If I'll just link you actually Promise the World their Taobao, because they're, again, their English website sucks. If it still exists, I'm not too sure. But yeah, so that's all of the stuff. Pretty much everything. Uh, there's a few other things that are kind of irrelevant, but that's pretty much all the clothes stuff that I have for my incoming mini Filuka, which I'm really, really, really excited about. And I was actually surprised like at how much stuff that I actually have for them. Most of my dolls aren't treated to so many things, and especially so many really elaborate, extravagant things. But it's really hard to find, like, elaborate things for my dolls, the type of styles that they have. At least the styles that I imagine that they have in, like, a casual, modern-day setting, since most of them are all fantasy characters. So finding things that actually are relevant to their own time period and story is really difficult. So <laughs> that's why I usually always dress my characters in sort of my modern-day interpretation of how they would dress. So... Euclid dress is very like romantic and sophisticated and kind of historic so yeah but anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you did and I don't know what else to say this video is kind of dumb <laughs> anyway bye